Well, guys, it is Sunday. Finally, <laughs> I can do one on Sunday. It's been a while. But well, welcome to my SWR slash reading your comments and slash video updates. So let's get down to it of what's been happening. As far as NASCAR, there was no Cup Series race this weekend, but there was an Xfinity race in the rain. <laughs> well, part of it in the rain, then it stopped, then it rained again. But but congrats to Justin Marks getting his first win for the uh, Xfinity Series. So and and it, and it was pretty intense, so to say, in the rain. To see some drivers, um, how they deal with it with the uh, rain tires and all. So, I mean, it was fun and all. So, but um, but what a great run for the uh, for for two drivers who are used to it. Uh, Andy Lally, he finished in six, uh, one underdogs, and plus I forgot this one guy's name, but he drives the 40 car, and uh, he's from Israel. I forgot his name. Forgive me on it, but yeah. But he, I think he finished somewhere, I think 12, 15, somewhere in there. So yeah. Yeah, from Israel. Because yeah, NASCAR has a uh, European series over there, which I didn't never knew about. So yeah. So I mean, so on all in all. But you know what, that's a track where the Cup Series need to look at. Because two World Course races, there needs to be more. Not just two. I mean... Then you go to places where, where the x mini series are, are going to, for example, like Mid-Ohio, and then they're going to uh, World of America here not too soon. Let's get a test of those tracks for the Cup Series and give them a challenge, because cause most of those Cup drivers know when Finneon and Watkins Glen, give them a challenge. But it's all about the money and sponsors, I know, I know. But why not try it out? Heck, why not go over... To the Canada Circuit in uh, Montreal, the Circuit Field Genève. I hope, I, I hope I pronounced that right, but yeah, that one would give them a challenge too. Why not? So, anybody who uh, there's no uh, Android Dragons this week because they'll be in Brainerd next week, and an uh, update on Courtney Force at, at, at her, at her, I mean her incident at Seattle. Her dad ex. Ex. Uh, expects her to be back yep so that little hit so the little hard hit in the wall didn't uh, phase her nothing no knee issues I think she seems to be okay so so that safety in the funny car is improving so after what looked like a, a, a serious hit just some probably some aches and that was it but still, you gotta be careful though, because those are 10,000 horsepower monsters. <laughs> that that's hard to control. So you don't—I mean, trust me, guys. Handling those cars are not an easy task at all. Won't you try to get behind the wheel of one? I mean, yeah. So. So yeah, but yeah. Next week is Brainerd. I'm looking forward to it. I just hope that Mother Nature holds up in that one. So it does get rained out. So, and also WWE. Well, some matches ha have been made for um, uh, SummerSlam. Uh, the women's title has been final. Um, I think the tag titles are too, and so is um, uh, the the uh, U.S. title. Uh, Reigns versus Rusev after uh, Cesaro faced him on Raw in the main event, and plus. Got the Miz versus Cruz, and then that big match with Cena and AJ, and then the, those two big title matches with um, Ambrose and Ziggler, and you got uh, Finn Balor, the Demon, versus Seth Rollins, which Seth Rollins is calling the Demon t tomorrow night on Raw, so it, that's going to be a little interesting to watch. And, uh, and plus, um, and that big blockbuster match with uh, Brock Lesnar and Randy Orton. So, some. Something tells me that match now might not turn out too well, but who knows? But yeah, and plus a and plus NXT Takeover Brooklyn two. It's going to be on Saturday. Can't wait for that one. I think that one's going to steal a show for SummerSlam. I really do. I mean, NXT always does. I mean, I mean, they always up one on their shows before their for the WWE's big shows like WrestleMania or SummerSlam. I mean it just seems they're better. 
So, but Nakamura for the title, Yayo, King of Strong Style. He's he's uh, got the momentum. And plus, uh, Dash and Daw Dawson versus um, Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano for the tag titles, and then uh, Bailey gets her rematch with Oscar for the women's championship, and then uh, then you got glorious <laughs> Bobby Roode versus uh, um, Ace ACA, which I can't pronounce his name, so I just say his initials, and and also you got No Way Jose facing the greatest man ever live, Austin Aries, and I think. There's another match. Let me think here. There probably will be a, a last minute made match or on um, the next week, maybe. But as far as yeah, we'll see how it goes. But can't wait for takeover. Can't wait. It's good. It's like I said, they're up one. So and plus on uh, Big WWE, their game. Uh, their uh, features have been announced, so if you guys want to be uh, are interested in that, go to go to their website. They 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 actually give you all all the details, and plus they uh, release part of their roster on there too. If you want to take a look at that, so yeah. So I'll begin for the PS3. I'll be pre-ordering it, and hopefully I'll I'll get the NXT packs. Hopefully, so so. With all that done, and plus I heard that some of the uh, UFC fighters were uh, razzing uh, WWE a, a little bit because they uh, because of Brock Lesnar. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I mean, if you want to check it out, go search um, uh, Matthew McConaughey. No, it's not McConaughey. Um, I think it's Gregor, something like that. But just type in uh, a. a UFC fighter rants John Cena, and uh, and uh, you'll see the issue with that. So, and plus with WWE, man, I got a lot of WWE news. <laughs> but plus with WWE, um, I see that they're kind of opening up t to the gay community because of a Hall of Famer uh, Pat Patterson had a book out all about that. So, well, I kind of saw this one coming, honestly, because of the way this community has been with gays and transgenders and all other crap. That's what I call it. Uh, but but they, but they got to. I mean, they uh, got to be open about it. They got to uh, go with the flow. So and because Darren Young is one of them, and uh, plus you had other past superstars too, and plus with similar gimmicks like Rico and uh, Jordan. Well, actually, Jordan was a TNA, but. Yeah, Rico, Billy, and Chuck had that. And I think there was one of them called the Hot Lesbians, if you guys remember. I think I do. Yeah, it was back in 2002, 2003 on Raw. No, no 2002. 2002, yeah. So, but yeah. And, and, and you guys, um, but yeah, I mean, just WWE is taking a, 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 another form with it and just, the, the, they don't want the gay people to see that they're against it, so to say. So, but still, it's my opinion. I call it crap because it is. Those people got problems, and they refuse to, to fix them in their life. That's it. That's it. And plus, uh, NFL preseason. Um, well, the Seahawks ended a dramatic play yesterday. They. Uh, uh, former uh, TCU quarterback uh, Boykin uh, hit, got a hit, hit a Hail Mary in the end zone, and plus the Seahawks went for the win, and then they got for two, and they just ran in, and they got it. So, so it's a good start for the Dolphins, and I mean Seahawks and Dolphins. Dolphins, yes, because they won by 14 in their preseason. So, one win for both my teams, but like I said, they're gonna face each other in, in Week One. May the best team win. And plus, uh, if you guys haven't heard, Seattle is dropping their 12th man. Why? Because Texas, because Texas A&M owns the rights to it. Because they're, because they're the ones who came with it first, actually. So, eh, I can see. I can see it, because yes, they did. They did. So, 
what's the ideas for C Seattle now? Can they call it uh, C Nation, Hawks Nation, or there's one that's similar to Portland because the same owner, Paul Allen. There's Blazers got Rip City, C City. Why not? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, just a lot of ideas will go go in my head. But yeah, so the Seahawks will, won't have the, the 12 anymore, even though the fans will will be showing it. But just the, the uh, to just the team and the and the uh, well, well, you know, the uh, franchise will not be showing it anymore. So yeah, yeah. But they got permission from Texas A&M to use it, but they just got past their. Uh, uh, use of it, so to say. So, so we'll see what come up, what they come up with next. So yeah. Anywho, there's I haven't heard any NBA news. They've been quiet because of the because of the uh, the uh, Olympics, which I'll get that to get that in a bit. But in baseball, let's take a look at the standings. And oh yeah, a Rod's last day is a Yankee. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I didn't honestly didn't give a care. I mean, honestly, I mean, he just went down history. I mean, that's all he he, he had. He had some of his highs and his uh, days, <laughs> but but which is lows. But which he almost got off the team. But I'm not looking looking at the bad things. But he just had a good career with with the Yankees and and it, I mean in a kind of Jeter. I mean, it'll live on. So, so let's look at the standings. You got the AL East. You got oh, got to change the lead. Toronto is now in the lead of the AL East, and then the Central is Cleveland, and then Texas and Seattle's in second, not far behind Houston. But they're uh, kind of seven wins behind Texas. Then the National League East. You got Washington, Central, Chicago, and then West and San Francisco, and see which team is doing pretty well right now. Four in a row, two teams, the the, the uh, Phillies and the Indians. Nice. And I see one team that's doing really bad. Ten losses in a row. Angels. Ouch. Got to hurt. See, so, yeah, I think them and Oakland are not going to catch the playoffs. <laughs> They're pretty much done. So there you have it on that. And, um, oh yeah, college football. See if the Ducks change their schedule because I couldn't check it because my internet uh, goofed up last time. All right. Nope, TBA. All of them. Yep, no change. Okay, I'm just gonna keep waiting. Because <laughs> college, cause college fo football kickoff's not far away. And plus, the game I I'm looking forward to is uh, U USC and Alabama. That's one I'll. That's one I'll, I'll be keeping my eye on. And plus, well, of course, the Ducks. But no problem with the Ducks. I mean, they're gonna beat UC Davis. No problem. No problem. And no other college news, but the uh, Little League World Series, uh, the Oregon team from Ben is going to the, uh, to the, um, I think it's the quarterfinals, I think it is, because they won the Northwest uh, region, so I think they're going on, so. Yeah, because they're from North Ben, which Ben is a big town in Oregon. Not as big as Portland, but it's big, it's, but... So yeah, I mean, nice to see an an Oregon little league team kind of going to to bigger places, so to say, for Oregon. So yeah, <laughs> and plus the Olympics, I seen all the news buzzing around for Michael Phillips. Uh, he uh, got more medals, <laughs> so to say, and uh, dang, I forgot her name. I think this one uh, female swimmer too. I forgot her name. Forgive me, but she uh, 
broke her own record in, in her time in swimming, and plus um, USA Basketball moving on still, which they won by three in their last game, and then I saw a, a double overtime game between, I think it was Brazil and, oh, who was it? Um, uh, forgive me, our countries. Forgot. I think it's Argentina? Yeah, I think it's Argentina, yeah. So yeah, I mean that one was the best one I I, I seen how the how the uh, how the Olympics basketball, but as far as yeah, <laughs> I seen that Ginobili was being a ball hog as usually is with the Spurs, but <laughs> but it's the same with that team. And plus, um, I seen that the two former players were on Brazil as well, who played in the NBA, and then Nene and oh, I forgot that one guy's name. Um, and he got fouled out too. Oh, shoot. Dang it. Names are not coming to mind. <laughs> but, yeah. So, but it's going on still, even though it's not in perfect conditions there, as uh, people worried. So, so next time the Olympics got to look somewhere else, which which they are next year because they're heading to Tokyo, which is much cleaner than Rio, probably. <laughs> so, so, anywho, that's it. Got nothing else to say. So, here's my BGM choice. Nintendo. I like that theme. Go check it out. Nice 16-bit theme to the game. And my subscriber of the week. Is the Splat. What's that? The Splat? It's 90's Nick. The cartoons I grew up watching. No, I didn't watch them on Cartoon Network. Yes, I... Yes, I did watch some Disney cartoons, but Nickelodeon was my bread and butter as it came to cartoons. That's right. <laughs> Every night, well, uh, uh, school day night, 7 or 8 o'clock, I was school to TV. <laughs> but yeah, but they got 90s Nick. I mean, 90s shows... Some 80s and mostly 90s. Or like Doug, Hey Arnold, Rugrats, Rockless Modern Life, Angry Angry Beavers. I'm going on. But they, but they got a, a YouTube channel here, and they are, and they got 24,144 subscribers. So if you guys have heard of them yet, if you grew up watching the 90s, Nick, then go to it. Support them, and plus they used to be the uh, 90s or all that. Well, they changed the, their name, the Splat, which I don't mind. So yeah, guys, go check them out. They got clips from various shows that they did, like Double Dare. So, so guys, go go check them out, because it's one I grew up in watching cartoons. Next to some Disney, but mostly Nickelodeon. Check them out. And reading your comments because I didn't have a chance to do that because my computer was. Well, my internet was messed up. Okay. Gotta go back on the dates here. Alright. Let's just go with July 31st, I guess. But go down there. Okay. 
Okay, I already read that one. All right. Uh, some people be in. Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> Buttholes. One guy uh, commented on my uh, WCA vs. NWO World Tour League Challenge Part 8 in Spanish. Sorry, but I can't read Spanish for ya. Uh, no go doy, I've been pronounce it. Then one of my NASCAR 7 Fight to the Top Mode Part 38, Alex uh, T H E, this, oh, the Sniper 19 says. Well, Biffle should have been parked the rest of the season for that. <laughs> eh, it's all right. <laughs> oh, and my cousin. On my last uh, SWR, auto racing is so boring. Hey, Jeremy. Do you watch it? Trust me. He does. He watches it. Because his one of his boys watches it. And you probably know which I'm talking about, Jeremy. <laughs> okay, on Delia Smackdown, just bring it part one. Mari Zari commented, I heard somewhere in, in Invasion is walkable. I don't know. I might look into that, but I'm not too sure about that. I will take a look at that. That seems interesting. Then NASCAR, oh, my latest one, Tyler Pike commented first. First comment? <laughs> and then one on W Smackdown, here comes the pain. Mark XD commented, thank you for helping me or, uh, re remind my childhood or something like that. Helping me, my childhood. Or, yeah, okay. Sorry, for me that right. And that's it. Three comments. So yeah, like I said, I'll be doing that uh, weekly. So make sure my internet just doesn't goof up again, and then so on and so forth. But as far as videos coming next, um, I'm about done for NCAA football 09. It's almost ready. I'll be uh, recording it on uh, Tuesday and hopefully be up there on Tuesday night or Wednesday, depends. So, look forward to it. And plus, uh, I'm down to my last part in NASCAR 07. Yep, the next video will be the final one. And then I got a little bonus, bonus video with it too, so look forward to that. I'll be uploading uploading those two either Friday or, Friday or, or Saturday. And then, that's it. So yeah. Oh, back on NASCAR, uh, there at Bristol Saturday night, I'll be watching NXT. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. Got my phone, I'll, I'll keep track of it, so. So that's it, guys. I had a week vacation off. Did a lot of uh, relaxing, so to say. Kind of took, took it easy, so. Because both going to be hot again. Summer. Yay. <laughs> For work, so. So that's it, guys. Got, got nothing else to say. I'll, I will record my reaction to Raw if there's a main event. Same with SmackDown. And then just see goes on from there. So, and plus my NXT as well. So, so guys, be smart. Just don't do anything dumb. <laughs> Have a brain. So, so that's it, guys. And nothing else to say. So, from the guy who has a big YouTube account in Pennsylvania, Oregon, going out. Take care, guys.